What's going on? It's your boy, Big Ben. We back again with something new. You already know if something new just came out, it's something new we gotta talk about. People, people, the crumble lord is back. You see the big box, y'all. I've been missing y'all for a minute, man. Work combined with crumble been acting up at my store. Ain't had the cookies ready Monday morning. Come on, come on, crumble, get it together. They they got it together today. Okay, guys. New flavors, big flavors, multiple new flavors this week, two new flavors this week, special little premium flavor cakes and stuff, not just cookies this week, in time for Father's Day. First off, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there from the Crumble Lord. Happy Father's Day to the women allowing these men to be fathers. Just happiness everywhere. Happiness to the kids that uh, get on the nerves of the fathers, that uh, that the fathers love. Everyone don't get on uh, everyone's nerves, Big Ben. Uh, I'm getting out there now already, even before I have the sugar, guys. Happy Father's Day. For real. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Guys, Let's get into the business right here. Woo! It's a lot going on in this week. Um, guys, let's 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 recap. I kind of really wanted to get that just traditional semi-sweet chocolate chunk. I don't know if they made it different. It looked different in the store. I almost swapped out one of these toffee cakes, but I couldn't do it, guys. Here we go. New flavors. Let me hide my face so you guys get a real good visual. We got the new toffee cake. We got two of those. We have the blueberry pancake right here in the corner okay we have ultimate peanut butter in this side down here is the mint cookies and cream and then over here is the kitchen sink they don't want the kitchen sink at us y'all um man i'm excited y'all let me let me turn this box get situated strap on my seat belt because it's about to be a long ride Let's hop first off into this toffee cake. They hyped this up for Father's Day. I brought a fork specifically for this review. Oh, wow. This thing is oozing everywhere, guys. Here we go. Your first look at Crumble Cookies new toffee cake. So they say a chocolate cake soaked in melty caramel sauce and top with whipped cream and chopped toffee pieces. Look, bow, bing, bing, bow. That should be the thumbnail right there. Should we make that the thumbnail? I don't know. But either way, guys, I'm getting out there, y'all. A little creative process behind the scenes. Wow, I don't, I, I mean, you guys see the little crevices right there? Look at that, look at that crevice. Just all that caramel, all that gooeyness. Toffee pieces all over the top. Big Ben, try it. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm gonna hit this corner up because I, I love me some Heath toffee. I don't know if this is Heath toffee. Oh, oh, get the action, y'all. Look at that scoop. Look at that scoop. Look at that scoop. It's new. Ooh, ooh. Here we go, y'all. I'm salivating. Crumble cookies, toffee cake, new premium dessert. Here we go. Help. <laughs> okay. I, I I was so perplexed I had no words to describe what I was having, guys. It was silky smooth. Okay. It was so soft, the substance wasn't even like cake. It was like a, almost like a silk pie. And it's not a silk pie, but that's how soft this cake combined with all this caramel gooiness really dumbed down the substance of this cake. I gotta go back in, doggone it. I love everything, okay? Let me get that off the way. I love everything, but just look at the layers of caramel that's in here. I mean, the, the caramel ratio is like 50-50 to the cake. It's just nuts. I, I may just have a big crevice here. The whipped cream is amazing. The toffee pieces are amazing. This, this is good for Father's Day. 
Crumble y'all represent for the dads out there. Oh man, this is good. Look, go ahead and get your father a big old tray of this toffee cake. You have some coffee, talk about some stories, all that type of stuff. You can't go wrong with this. I'm over here just eating myself happy. Okay. Had a pack of the caramel. Now we kind of get into it. The cake is real, it's real good. Is it the most exquisite cake? No, but it's a pretty good cake. When you have the cake by itself, is it? I mean, it probably ain't all that. I would say the cake by itself is a nice little 7.5. It's good. But when you add that amazing silk soft whipped cream, mm, the caramel, ribbons of caramel, crevices of caramel in the right places, plus the toffee pieces, shut your mouth. One more bite, because I'm I'm just all over the place. Now that I have the, the cake by itself, I'm eating the whole corner of this darn dar near. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, I'm going to give this. This is really good. I'm going to give this a solid. What other cakes have I had? I've had like three other ones. They not come to mind. So this must be the best one. I'm going to give this a. Woo. 9.5, 9.5. I got two into the cake area, just a cake by itself. At the beginning, this was not going on a 9.5, dancing around a 10. This is a 9.5. I'm not going to overthink it. We ain't having the cake by itself. It's a toffee cake, okay? It is what it is. It's a 9.5. It is a must get this week, okay? I'm just trying to give you all the full analysis. Now, let's get into this blueberry pancake. How did this end up in Father's Day week? I do not know. Oh, wow. Guys, my crumble's on it this week, okay? It's it's getting ready to fall apart. So we may have to do a little view like this. It's getting ready to break, okay? I, I, I can't even show it to you guys. I can't even show it to you guys. It will absolutely break if I take out this box. Yeah. This, this cookie is extremely soft, guys. Extremely soft. Mmm. Mmm. That's the blueberry cake, y'all. Um, they say a warm blueberry pancake cookie topped with a blueberry buttermilk glaze and a buttercream dollop. Wow. Okay. Now we back. Man, they, they making this review kind of hard to do today. All right. Bear with me, y'all. Is what we looking like. Okay. Nice little dollar. We got the blueberry on there. The whole nine. Blueberry pancake from Crumble. Hmm. My dollar might have been too big. Might have overpowered the blueberry. This thing is real melty. But we kind of got a little weird agitation. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. I mean, I'm... okay, we getting there. We getting there now. I don't know. It could have been I just came from the toffee cake. I don't know. Um, I've had so I've had the buttermilk pancake pancake before. I think I really need more buttermilk more blueberry glaze. If I look at the marketing, I really didn't have as much. So, ma'am. Guys, I, I, I don't have enough blueberry. The cookie is soft, really delicious. 
the dollop is good. I mean, I just don't know what's going on with this blueberry pancake. I, I feel like it's like almost like having blue moon ice cream at this point. I'm having it, but I'm like, what is it? What's the flavor underneath? I need more blueberry. At this point, I gotta go. I mean, the original blueberry pancake, I gave it a really high score. This one, I'm, I'm at a seven, but that's not like a seven, you shouldn't get it. That's like a seven, I feel like I got robbed. I need more blueberry glaze, or maybe the pancake just soaked it in like normal pancakes do. I don't know. Guys, I really try to be thorough on here, and sometimes I, I get disappointed when I can't be thorough. Okay, I like to give it a really bad rating, a good rating, or mediocre and say why. Mine was mediocre because I feel like I didn't get the right experience. That's where we at. All right, let's get to uh, this cookie right here. Now we can grab the cookie, okay? This one's chill. This is the mint cookies and cream. A chill cookies and cream cookie frosted with delectable mint blue buttercream. That's a lot of cookies. I thought I, had, I misread. A chill cookies and cream cookie frosted with delectable mint blue buttercream. Now, I think this was called the uh, Mint Aggies. So I don't know if they went away from the Aggies brand or whatever, but it looks a little bit different than last time. My last one was thicker. My original one gave it a really high score. Don't want to spoil it, but here we go. Mint cookies and cream, crumble. Mm. First one was better. First one was better. Did Crumble change their recipe? I'm not mad at, at how they're doing this. My first one was so much thicker, though. Um, You really got the chilled effect. This is kind of in between the chilled and the um, kind of warm cooking. I don't know. Hmm. Some of those white chips on the inside. I ate the last one. You can't see it. That's good. That's good. I gotta go. Um, in the crumble verse, that's a solid eight. That's a solid, probably eight point five. If you really like mint, I kind of like mint. I'm, I'm down with it. The first original Aggies one, I gave a higher score. I'll just say that. I'll leave it at that. I'm gonna save the peanut butter for last, y'all. I'm going to save the peanut butter for last for the peanut butter addicts out there. I want to get to this thing that's just staring me in the face saying, come get me, Big Ben. This little ugly thing, okay? The kitchen sink. An original cookie mixed with semi-sweet chocolate chips and rolled in a blend of salty potato chips and pretzels for the perfect crunch. Okay, now there's a lot going on. Can't remember if I tried this with my sisters or not. Y'all got to check out that review. That was a good review. I don't know if I did or not, but uh, let's get into it, guys. The kitchen sink. Oh, wow. So a lot of saltiness going on. I'm tasting pretzels, potato chips, bottom of the bag of Lay's chips. Mixed with someone throwing some chocolate chips at me. I don't, I don't like this situation. I, I don't think potato chips be long on a cookie. That does not be long on a cookie. The bottom, the little, little chips in between the couch and stuff, put them, not long on a cookie. Little pretzel nubs, mm-mm. Look, this ain't my type of cookie. This is not, not my, I'm, I'm trying to think if I'm, I'm over exaggerating this. This is not my type of cookie. Uh, the, the chocolate chips is the only thing saving this thing. I personally got to give this a, I mean, it has a sweet and salty aspect, like a six, but I got to give it a five. Yeah, some of y'all may love that. I don't know who you are. Maybe you're the, you're the type of person that just eats glue. I don't, I don't know. I know I'm getting out there. I'm, I'm labeling y'all. I don't want to be labeled, but I'm labeling y'all. That kitchen sink is not it, man. I'm trying to think about how the kitchen sink I like. That is not it. I'm sorry. I got to say it. It's not it. 
Um, let me know though. I'm sure some of y'all go. That's the thing about crumble. Everyone likes different cookies. I'm sure y'all gonna like certain things that I don't like and vice versa. It is what it is, all right? Ultimate peanut butter, last one. A peanut butter cookie stuffed with peanut butter and topped with a drizzle of melted peanut butter. I remember this thing was filled with peanut butter last time I had it before. Let me get this little bite right here. This little, this little peanut butter hanging like cliffhanger on the edge. Mmm, professional move. Dusting of the cookie and, and, and sugar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is this thing filled? Oh, yeah, it's filled. It's filled. Could be filled a little more. That's the ultimate peanut butter cookie. I've said this before. Someone who loves peanut butter is going to absolutely love that. I love peanut butter and I don't love that though. I don't know what it is about it. Have I not had crumble cookies that long that my love, my affection for this thing has worn off? I don't think so. I think it's the cookie. It's not me, it's the cookie. Um, <laughs> getting up there. I'm gonna give that one, guys. Um, I like the dusting of it. I don't know what it is about it. Let me give that one a nice, cool, That's a seven. All right. Recap. I got to say it. The toffee cake is where it's at. The toffee cake. You might as well just get the sheet of toffee cake. The toffee cake is amazing. Blueberry pancake. I don't know if I got disqualified. I don't know what happened. Aggie's pretty solid. Kitchen sink had a fan. Peanut butter. Liked it. Didn't love it. Got to hear from you guys. I got to open it up. I am as curious as you guys are in seeing the, these reviews before you go ahead and, and buy it and decide to get it or skip it. I am just as curious to hear from you all what you all think about this week's cookies. I love to compare notes, compare cheat sheets. So make sure to leave some comments below on the different cookies and your thoughts. Guys, on that note officially, that's the review. Happy Father's Day. As always, if you liked the video, if you rock with me the whole time, please leave a like. Don't share it once, share it twice. Drop a comment. Let me know what you're going to see next on the channel. And whether you're regular first timer, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell reminder. Catch you guys next time eating something else. Peace.